Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for September 1st. Today's devotion is titled Fix Up Time. And the Bible reading is from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 20 to 32. That, however, is not the way of life you learned when you heard about Christ and were taught in him in accordance with the truth that is in Jesus. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work doing something useful with their own hands, that they may have something to share with those in need. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. It was time to give the inside of our home a fresh new look. But just as I'd begun prepping a room for painting, our state government announced it would be halting the sale of many home improvement items due to the COVID-19 pandemic. As soon as I heard the announcement, I rushed to the store and purchased the essential materials. You simply can't remodel without the proper supplies. Paul had a bit of a remodeling project in mind when he wrote Ephesians chapter 4. But the changes he was talking about went far beyond superficial alterations. Even though trusting Jesus as Savior makes us a new creation, there's still some ongoing work the Spirit needs to do. It takes time and work for him to accomplish true righteousness and holiness. The presence of the Spirit makes needed changes on the inside that can help us reflect Jesus in our words and actions. He helps us replace lying with speaking truthfully. He guides us to avoid sin in regard to anger. And He directs us to speak words that are helpful for building others up. These spirit-controlled actions are part of the internal change that's manifested in things like kindness, compassion, and forgiveness. The spirit works in us to enable us to imitate Jesus himself and reflect the heart of our Heavenly Father. In what areas do you need the Holy Spirit to make real, heart-based improvement in you through his leading and strength. How will you get started? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.